Whenever we talk about Captain Marvel, you always talk about Monica Rambo. Well, the young lady that played the sidekick in Marvel's Captain Marvel, excuse me, Lashana Lynch decided to discuss the backlash she got, racist backlash, mind you, for being the first black female 007. This is what she had to say. Lynch is not letting racist internet haters disrupt her groove. In an interview with Harper's Bazaar, Lynch finally confirmed her standing as the first black woman to take on Bond's fame numeric moniker and talked about dealing with toxic fans. I am one black woman. If it were another black woman cast in the role, it would have been the same conversation. She would have had to go through the same attacks, the same abuse, Lynch said. I just have to remind myself that the conversation is happening and that I'm a part of something that will be very, very revolutionary. Larry, how do you feel about racist backlash toward them giving us the first black female 007? Mind you, the male 007 is also going to be in the movie too. So how's that supposed to work? Don't ask me. I mean, they, I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, we've had um, they've had Bond movies before where they've had other double O's and, you know, in the um, in the movie. I mean, double O, the double O seven is, is a, it's a designation. It's not like something that's exclusive to James Bond. James Bond is a is a member of, of the, his majesty's secret service that it has a double O designation. So, and you I mean, know what? It, and you're absolutely right. I, I was going to say that, but I wanted to hear what you had to say, say, but you're absolutely right. Double O seven doesn't mean that you're a James Bond. Just like, yeah. you know, we're trying to say that ghost and James St. Patrick have split. And the new ghost is Tariq. Same concept with double O seven versus James Bond. James Bond is not, um summarily tied to 007 that's a great point Larry. so i mean even even more even like what you said about ghost but even broader than that it's imagine that you have five or ten or fifty or a hundred different ghosts i mean they have there's numerous people with with the double o uh you know with double o designations whether it's double o six or double o seven whatever it is that are on that are uh that have been a part of the franchise throughout it. And we've seen other, we've seen other double O's in James Bond movies. And so the fact that she's another double O, that doesn't bother me at all. That's just fine. I mean, you know, what would bother me is what would bother me really is, is if they made her James Bond because James Bond is supposed to be a man. And I think that if it had been reversed where they took a man and made him and had him play a female role. I think a lot of people would be very upset about that. So mm -hmm. I, you know, I don't have, I don't, I don't like the racist attacks. I think that's just stupid and, and ridiculous. And I mean, I would have, I, I loved, I love seeing Naomi Harris in there as, as the new, um, as the new money penny. And I would have loved to have seen maybe money penny get, you know, get um, a promotion to a double O. That would have been awesome because the last bond that we saw that where she was in, she was in the field. She was working. She was awesome. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. I, I mean, I was thinking that that sort of should have been sort of the natural progression, progression of things to have her out there, you know? Right. right. But, you know, whatever. It's yeah. all good. It happens. And you know, gonna, people are, I mean, but the reality of it is there are people out there that hate women regardless of of what they are, whether they're black or they're white or whatever, because if she wasn't if she wasn't black, people wouldn't have complained about the race. It wouldn't have been the racist stuff necessarily. It just would have been misogynistic stuff. Right. And if she was Asian, they would have claimed they would have made all kinds of racist Asian remarks, you know. Mm -hmm. It just if she was if it turned out to be a, a gay bond or a gay 007, they would have made all kinds of homophobic marks. If simply at this at this point, if you're just not a a straight, you know, white male, then those people are gonna complain because that's what they do, you know. And and at the end of the day, 
Miss Lynch is a damn good actor. I've seen her in a couple of things, and she can act her butt off. So as long as they give her give the, the movie itself a good story, good strip, script, good narrative, it's going to be good. And I'm glad that she didn't let the racist haters bog her down. Right. So and, and I, you know, and I, and I even want to say this. I know I mentioned that I would be upset if they made James Bond a woman, but I have to say. I would really have to see the movie because I'm a big James Bond fan. I mean, I've seen every single Bond that's out there. That was one of those things that my dad and I used to do together was watch James Bond's movies, you know, watch the James Bond movies. And so I love the Bond movies. And I would have to say that if if they made a female Bond, I would give it a chance and see what it was like. I would watch it and see if I enjoyed it because maybe it would be awesome. You know, I mean... I, you know, I still think like the James Bond character is supposed to be a man because that's the way the writer originate, you know, the who originated the story wrote it. That's the way it has been. It is sort of based off of a true character, sort of, you know, it's loosely based off of a, of a character, a true character from World War II. And, you know, so to to deviate from that, you know, and move it from one gender to the other could be problematic, but maybe not. I'd have to see. There are some the writers can do some fantastic stuff. And so, you know, I mean, if they made James Bond a woman, I would really need to give it a try, see what it turns out to be. You know, yeah, I rocked with her, man. And I love 007 myself so much so that I have played all the 007 video games that came on P3. And they were some good ass video games, too. Yeah, me? I only played the one that was on the PSP because I never had a. a of the full console for, for the PS well, system. Well, you missed out. Blood um 007 Goldeneye and Bloodshot and Bloodstone, man, loved them. I can go play them right now. 